Elvis Duran and the Morning Zoo. I'm TJ from Elvis Duran and the Z Morning Zoo in the studio with the Jonas Brothers. What's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing, man? Doing well. Over there is Nick. What's up, Nick? What's up? How you doing? Kevin? Yes, very good. And Joe? Howdy. So, you guys are a big deal. Oh, you're a big deal. No, no, I'm not. I'll tell you how I know that. (laughs) I was in New York City yesterday. I was parking in a parking garage. And as I'm parking my car, I see a billboard with the Jonas Brothers on it. Did you guys know that? Oh, um, yes. We, well, we've been we've been driving the city because we just did a couple shows here, and uh, there was like these, uh, you know, posters all in the city. Just Disney saying, billboards yeah, with you guys on them. Well, there's yeah, that oh, one. Oh, yeah, those. I didn't, and then there's yeah. the one that says like, you know, the album's out and all this stuff, and we're freaking oh, out. Oh, that yeah, we just saw that for the first time the other day, and we were kind of freaked out. We were like, well, no way, you know. So you know, you're pretty, making it pretty big when you're on billboards in New York City. It's a good feeling, yeah, especially I, spending so much time growing up here, and then all of a sudden, you know, boom, there it is. Yeah, know? I was talking to you, Kevin, right before the interview, and I found out you're from New Jersey. Yeah, we We're are. Jersey boys. Jersey. Well, all of you guys are, because you're brothers. Yes. Yeah. Do you ever want to punch people in the mouth when they say, oh my God, you're just like Hanson. You're three brothers. You're forming a band. <laughs> um, it's great. <laughs> people think we get like mad at it. Really, we don't. You know, right. they're amazing musicians. They write amazing and songs. And if we sell, you know, 14 million records, then we'll be fine too. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. You know, so the comparison is is natural. You know, yes, we're three brothers, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we, we just have a good time. We're just here to have fun and make our music the way we want to make it. When do three brothers realize that they have something going on and they could all play different instruments and get together and form a band? Well, you know, it all actually just kind of came together. At the it, age of one, two, and yeah, three. Yeah, uh, one... <laughs> It actually started with me. I was doing um, like some Broadway shows. Joe was doing a couple of Broadway shows, and uh, I recorded a song. Someone heard it at a record label wanted to sign me. Joe is seventeen years old. Kevin, you're nineteen. Yep. And Nick, you're fourteen. Yes. yes. And I'm excited because in like negative five days, I'm turning eighteen. <laughs> I'm gonna weird. buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, are your parents supportive of this whole getting into Hollywood thing? Uh, you know, Definitely. they they don't even know that we're in a band. It's kind of a secret. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kids these days, they don't yeah. tell their parents anything. Yeah. We actually tell them we go to school every day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That would be cool. I wish I was in a band instead of going to school. Well, did, did you guys bail out of school? Or no, um, what? they're still homeschooled. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, gra- homeschooled. I'm graduated, but uh, they're still. Yeah. So we kind of uh, do it when we can. So what do your parents think of all this? They love it. They yeah, um, they're support. so supportive. They're they're big musicians too. Yeah, our, said dad, musicians. yeah our dads are co-manager as well. With, oh, okay. Uh, you know, Phil McIntyre and Johnny Wright. So it's kind of like. You know, he's totally supportive, and it's it's really good. So your parents are musicians, and where do they play? Um, my dad plays. Anything. You give him an instrument, he'll be able to play it. Yeah, it's crazy. Does him... he do anything professionally? Um, yeah, he has. He's create. You know, he's on CDs. You he's know, doing a oh, country okay. album before. Oh, cool. Yeah. So he's not like my damn kids are bigger than I am. What happened? Oh, absolutely not. He, okay. He's so supportive. He's you know even the other room. We actually our our whole family tours with us. We have our family bus on the road. You know, so like. You know, we have our little brother Frankie who comes out as well. So right. that's pretty awesome. Are your parents at all concerned about young Hollywood and seeing what Lindsay Lohan's getting into it? Now you guys are just starting off in this business. Well, you know, we have a really, really strong family base, and the people around us are all really good people. And uh, you know, we kind of, we kind of try to keep it that way. And uh, you know, we're we're not going to end up like in any way like that and it's it's all gonna be good. And- What's your plan to not end up like that? Because I'm sure Lindsay Lohan, when she was 14 years old, said the same thing. Our plan is to. Be a part of the music industry, the entertainment business, but be as far away from it as we can in the sense of like that stuff. You know, um, I think Shia LaBeouf said it best. Perception is everything. He doesn't come out of those clubs every night. You don't see him doing all this other stuff. And, you know, he's now one of the biggest movie stars of the summer. Yeah, know? absolutely. And he's going to be even bigger, you know, after uh, after all the other movies he's coming out with. And it's just like we believe in being a positive influence and being something that, is safe for like the whole family and that's fun and it's just healthy well I think you guys have a big advantage because now you're seeing all this firsthand and you're seeing what not to do and you're seeing the consequences of doing it actually um when we were at a um, it's funny the best advice I think we've ever gotten from a celebrity was um from Nick Carter actually where'd you meet him um uh, our man we have a uh, three managers they're all co-managers Johnny Wright is one of our managers oh, okay you know, factory instinct you know Know, the cool. whole thing and uh he what, what what did he tell us he said to us he's like um watch people that you admire the most and learn from their mistakes so you don't make the same ones he told it the first time we ever met him and that's and what like, he said to us oh, and we we're like okay cool. okay that's so funny he really took that to heart yeah you meet people and they they come they have these sayings that they've learned over years of experience and you're very fortunate to be able to talk to people like that because that yeah, helps a lot yeah absolutely and the, the one thing that we've grown up learning is even if you're at the top Live like you're at the bottom. Yeah. That's the phrase that my dad has always pressed into us. And I'm sure some kid will hear that and say, wow, that's a great quote. That's that helped well, their we career. Hope, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll see what we can do.
The good news is, guys, your music doesn't suck. It's very good. Oh, thank, you. Well, thank you. Yeah, I really think that you're going to go very, very far in this thank industry because the music doesn't suck. Well, well, thank, thank you. you. Congratulations. And we're happy because it's our music. You yeah. Know yep. what I mean, we wrote it. We played it. We worked hard on it. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about that. You didn't rip off anybody? This is all you guys? Oh, no, absolutely. All us. We, um, we worked with John Fields in the studio, and we had a lot of fun with him. And, and he did, recording. like, Switchfoot, Rooney, all those guys. Some HWK, you know. Cool. So, so, uh, so we pretty much... um. We didn't rip off anybody. So you guys are, are working for Disney. You did Meet the Robinsons. You did a yeah, song on we, that we, soundtrack. We've definitely done some amazing things with Disney and the Disney Channel. And right. uh, you know, and our new record label, Hollywood Records, is have been such an amazing support, and they're unbelievable. So do you get to meet like Hannah Montana and Ali and AJ on those guys? Um, yes. Yeah, we actually we've toured with Ali and AJ, Jesse McCartney, and we're going on tour with Hannah, Hannah Montana all fall and winter. Now, Nick, fourteen year old Nick, did you get to uh, hook up with Ali or AJ or both? Oh, Alan and Jade, no, I, I didn't hook up with them. Oh. I, I don't really hook up with anybody, man. I'm just now, kinda... do you want to try that opportunity? Because they're Allie and AJ. It'd be cool, like, in 10 years from now, to be like, yeah, that's right, I had Allie and AJ. Well, you know, I'll, I'll stick to uh, Hannah Montana. <laughs> oh, is she better? Yeah, she's high five. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes. Congratulations on all your success. You're oh, doing thank you. phenomenal. Thank you. And uh, you're only going to get better. And I can't wait to see you in 10 years when you forget who I am. But uh, <laughs> it's going gonna to be great. You guys are, are awesome, and you've been a pleasure to talk to. Jonas Brothers, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank, thank you. Thank you.